Isang culmination activity ang isinagawa kahapon, June 10, sa pagitan ng Philippine Army at United States Joint Pacific Multinational Readiness Center o JPMRC sa Port Magsaysay sa Nueva Ecija. Bahagi pa rin ito ng nagpapatuloy na Salaknip Exercise Phase 2 ng US at ng Philippine Army kung saan nasa may 2,000 ang nakilahok na kinabibilangan ng iba't ibang grupo. Kabilang na ang 72nd Brigade, 66 Infantry Battalion, 77 IB, Hukbong Katihan ng Pilipinas, 5th Infantry Division, Signal Regiment, 25 IB, Tradoc Training and Doctrine Command, US Army at iba pa. Sentro ng naging pagsasanay ang interoperability training, leadership, movement maneuver, skills effectiveness, capability development, educational training. Ayon kay Lieutenant General Roy M. Galido, Commanding General ng Philippine Army, mahalaga ang pagsasagawa ng iba't ibang senaryo sakali mang may dumating na kaguluhan o panganib ay alam nila ang kanilang gagawin. We started with Baligatan, we started with yung kung naalala nyo, yung katihan, di ba? Yung Army side. Uh, last March, which concluded dun sa Army Day. So, dito tayo nag-start ng large-scale formation Army. Then we had the Salaknib 2, yung Army to Army. A smaller scale, then the Balikatan, nakasama yung Air Force Navy. But this time, bumalik tayo ulit sa Salaknib. Para sa actual scenario or simulated scenario na may kaguluhan, at kung ano dapat gagawin natin. Ayon pa kay Lt. Gen. Roy Galido, kailangan anya ng Pilipinas ang tulong ng U.S. Army para mapalakas ang interability o ugnayan ng U.S. at Philippine Army para mapangalagaan ang kanilang territorial defense. Napaka-importante, especially dito sa type of warfare o type na crisis scenario, we cannot act on our own, we need our allies, and especially dito sa pagbabago ng role ng army that is to be able to defend our country or territorial defense. Alam niyo naman, wala pang capability ang Philippine Army to defend our country territory because of we don't have the proper platforms. So with our exercise sa United States Army, na-expose tayo sa mga tamang platform, tamang kagamitan para sa territorial defense. At saka yung tamang aksyon sa pagpaplano at pagsuporta ng pwersang maramihan talagang at malakihan. Tiniyak naman ng Philippine Army na mas lalo pang titibay ang ugnayan sa pagitan ng sandataang lakas ng Pilipinas at US Army. We're getting better. We're getting better and we're realizing that this is the way to go about when we really want to have realistic training and yung, yung essence of balikatan. Yung talagang aktual na nagtutulungan para sa senaryo na naka na hinaharap natin. Samantala, nangako naman si Commanding General Major General Marcus S. Evans ng 25th Infantry Division ng USARPAC na tuloy-tuloy ang gagawin nilang Joint Pacific Multinational Readiness Center ng US at PH Army para maragdagan ang kalaman sa actual defense at paggamit ng iba't ibang armas. The ability to work alongside your division staff and soldiers has made us all better war fighters, it's increased our legality, it's developed cohesive teams between our two armies, and forged relationships that will continue to grow and prosper for generations to come. For over three months, the soldiers and leaders from the Philippine Army and U.S. Army have refined planning processes, participated in individual training, and we culminated with the first fully instrumented Joint Pacific Multinational Radio Center Nestor Torres, humahataw sa balita ngayon.